hey, start a war here, start a war here, ba ba ba, ban this, ban that, ba ba ba, you're a bad people, ba ba ba, go fuck away, Trump. Hey guys, I know I made a video recently about how I said Trump was uh, my take on Trump. I think what Trump's doing might not be the best thing, but I gotta say that if he can give a reason, a solid reason, why it could be a good re like, he can't just say, that's bad, because it's bad, so I'm doing it because this will help us, because that's bad. He should say, this is bad, because, with some facts. He should get facts and proof. He shouldn't be able to just say, yeah, this, do this. It shouldn't be total power. We're the people. And there's more of the people than there are the stupid people who voted for Trump. There should be like a, like a council of people who say, do you want this to be changed or not? Or do you want this to be this or this? Or the same. And I feel it should be the people who vote on that. It might take time, but it's better than, hey, we have a president. I make this rule, new president. I make that guy's rule bad, and I change it. Oh, that guy's rule, change it. And it'll keep going like that. So I think we should have a fair system that can be updated regularly and for and by the people. It's just stupid. I think that there needs to be facts around everything. Like, you can't have someone say, Hi, I don't like you. Fuck you and shoot you in the head. Because the, like, that's not the way the world works. So why does the president get to do things like that? Why does the president get to decide so much? Because he ran and people were idiots and were like, Ha ha, Trump, millionaire. It's like, a million, billion? Lots of money, man. <laughs> the point is, the world needs to change. And I think it should start with Riley Heiss. He's at the UN Assembly right now. He's at the youth, the youth UN Assembly right now. It's going on. And I really think he's a good guy. I think he has fair views. He's very impartial. He's, he's, he's a good person because he, he thinks smartly. And not like, hmm, this, this piece of religious text says this. So, this is our law now. Because, I, as, as a play I went to see today said, if we live by the words of religious texts from 1300 years ago, it is only meant for a society from 1300 years ago. So in order for that to work, we would have to revert back 1300 years or whatever. And I don't think that's what we need. We need up, not down. Um, thanks for watching.